In this video, we will demonstrate the configuration of time-based policies with Viptela. One of the use cases of a time-based policy could be to ensure that a specific policy gets activated only during a specific time. For example, a customer would want to have a FTP backup policy to be triggered at only at a certain time of the day and also ensure that it always takes the non-critical link. Time-based policies are not natively available in Viptela while defining the policy construct. However, we can use the rich APIs that Viptela exposes to build our time-based policy. The Viptela support site offers a very good amount of information on these APIs. The APIs can also be accessed directly from the vManage. Just add API docs to the vManage address and you will be able to see all the APIs. As you can see, we have APIs for diagnostics, we have APIs for configuration, we have APIs for monitoring and real-time monitoring as well. So let's go back to vManage. Let's look at our policy. Now I have a predefined time-based policy uh, which is currently not activated. So let's go and have a look at the policy. So if you look at the policy, the policy actually defines a match on app list test which is basically matching on FTP traffic and then setting an action to act always take the business internet link which is the non-critical link. And we have used the sites 11 and 12 and the policy is applied to sites 11 and 12. Let's look at our current traffic flows. So let's go to network. Let me open it as a separate window. So let, let's go to VH1. Let's go to troubleshooting and simulate flows. And let's try to reach a destination between VH1 and 2 for application FTP. And you can see that the traffic is now load balanced across both the transport links by default. So let's go back to vManage. So let's look at the APIs that we're going to use. So we're going to use the vSmart template policy and in this policy we'll use the activate policy and the deactivate policy. So if you look at the activate policy we need to identify the policy ID and send a response to the body and similarly for the deactivate we need to send the policy ID and it will basically deactivate the policy. Now I have a simple Python program which uses the APIs and activates the policy. Once activated, after a couple of minutes, it will deactivate the policy. This actually runs in a loop. I have used short timers for this demo. However, the idea is to show that the APIs can be used to build a policy which can activate and deactivate at a certain time based on the business requirement. Let's run our program now. So now as you can see, the policy has been activated. It also gives a timestamp. So let's go back to vManage and then check our policy status. And as you can see that the policy st status has now changed to true, which means the policy has been activated. So let's go back to network and test our traffic flows. Let's go to VH1. Troubleshooting, simulate flows. I'll try to reach the same destination again on VH2. For FTP traffic. Now you can see that the traffic only flows through the business internet link. So let's go back to our program and wait for the policy to get deactivated. And there the policy gets deactivated now after a certain period of time. So let's go back to our vManage. Let's check the state of the policy and the policy state is now false. So it's not activated anymore. And let's quickly check our traffic flows as well. So let's do a simulate flows and use, and you can see the traffic now has started load balancing against both the links. So now since the code runs in loop, the policy again gets activated after a certain period of time. And if we go back to a vManage, uh, the policy should get activated now. And if you look at the simulation flows, you'll find that the traffic only flows through the internet link. Thus, using the extensive Viptel APIs, we can create specific policies as required by the business. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.